I always liked Kawabunga. I'm just hanging out. Ha! Oh, I made a funny! Ha 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 ha! Beautiful day, beautiful people. Sean Long here with another long and uncut review. And we're continuing the T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie. San Diego Comic Con 2019 said I did Shredder before, so make sure to check out uh, the video beforehand for the packaging. But continuing with that set, we're doing Splinter. And after this, we'll do the Foot Soldiers. So the set is the Capture of Splinter. So um, with Splinter, he gets the least amount of accessories if you want to count it. But we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But he gets some exclusive set accessories, which you do see here. I got him. Whoop. And by the way, this backdrop, if you saw my show review, this is from the, the insert from the packaging. And he comes with the chains that he's in. I was trying to put him like he was chained to the the fence like he was in the movie but yeah the uh the this uh splinter was the san diego comic-con exclusive you can get the single carded through gamestop and i would say to get the quarter scale version right now at big bad toys or click the link for so much more but splinter is the only ninja turtle character besides casey jones that will be coming out that didn't get a quarter scale release first which I maybe can understand, like Shredder and the Foot Soldiers, I can understand, you know, getting Cordisco and maybe not Splinter, but it's all said that Splinter is only exclusive to the 7-inch scale, but not, you know, it's easier to do not, you know, Splinter kind of had an action scene, or a, a couple if you count, when he was still a rat, but um, yeah, he was mostly just sitting down and hanging <laughs> chained up throughout most of the movies so i can understand they didn't really want to make a full quarter scale 100 you know 10 20 dollar version of splinter so especially because can't really articulate him as much as the other turtles but we'll get to him in the the articulation bit but yeah the the sculpting De neca has done an amazing job i love the sculpt he even has the severed ear that splint uh that shredder or rukusaki um sliced off when he was still a, a regular uh pet rat but the paint is just absolutely amazing love it even has you know that paint apps on his hands and arms he is a sculpted plastic figure in the ether but he's wearing a cloth robe uh or a you know gi whatever you want to say and he has this like rib belt which is like pretty much like a little ribbon I had to actually tie it because it came undone. So be careful of that. But you can't take it off and he's just, you know, um, a, a sculpted rat underneath him. The, the robes are really nice. Very dirty like they should be. They even have holes all around and all tethered. So you can see here. And yeah, and then underneath is just really nice sculpted fur. And even on the feet are very, very dirty wraps. Eww. With Shardimus, would you even love these toes? I don't know, man. That's really pushing him for me. Even if you love foot feet. And he has a nice tail. It's a um, bending wire tail. Um, it, it, it bends pretty good, but you do have to work with it a bit. Especially, it does help him stand a lot, so I do enjoy that. Because he has very skinny legs and very skinny feet. So um, definitely that uh, helps out a lot. Now, before I get to the articulation, since I should take this off, he, um, the chains, which are real metal chains, they do come off, so you don't have to keep them chained up in there. You just kind of take it off like that pretty easily. I'll, I'll keep them with the chains off. But yeah, that's the one accessory. And I guess I'll, I'll, I'll do the accessories first. Uh, normally, I wouldn't, um do the accessories till after articulation but whatever i can do whatever i want oh and the chain just came off so be careful of that but like i said when um you know i mean you know you, you just kind of connected uh the way you connect in like through um you know put it like right there and then whatnot but yeah real metal chain and the gauntlets or whatever i take off here and yeah, you can see it makes definitely his arms very baggy, not having the chains there anymore. But now he looks more normal, so that's really awesome. You know, you, you know, I don't think Splinter's into bondage, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy. Um, 
But yeah, before you get into uh, Splinter's articulation, you also get this little box, which was a little nod to Necker right there, 33090. That's when the movie came out. So very awesome little anniversary of the Ninja Turtles movie. So I find that great. It's just cardboard, so now now plastic. Now, if you got, uh, and of course, besides the chain, which, you know, I'll, I'll put this in a little baggie of my accessories and whatnot. So besides the chain, now if you got the GameStop exclusive version, he would come with a mutagen container. This is from the, the Turtles pack and a slice of pizza, so you can place it on his head. <laughs> I, I I wish that he did come with a slice of pizza, but they pretty much assume you probably have the turtles if you got this set. Because why would you get this set and not have the turtles? It wouldn't make sense. Now, also that said, which th this does come with, you know, the uh, San Diego Comic Con set. He would come with nunchucks, um, like he used against uh, Shredder at the end, or it was really Mikey's nunchucks. But so it comes like you can. It does come with the set, which I have on the weapons rack right now. So I guess you could say that is Splinter's weapon, but it's really a foot soldier accessory. So yeah, it that's the thing. Like the whole weapons rack weapons can be used for all the um, Shredder, Splinter, the foot soldier. So yeah. So yeah, let's get to the articulation. His head can look up really good, can look down kind of, you know, not that much, but you know, it's all right. Um, it it rotates at, it's kind of weird angle. You can move it left and right and rotate it. So kind of weird joint because, you know, he is a rad, he was supposed to be like that. And then it became more humanoid, just like the turtles. Now the arms do rotate the, the you know, you got to work with the outfit a little bit. They could do go in and out a little bit. So you, now since he doesn't have the chains, you can kind of, um, Got to be very careful. Yeah, I, I'd be very careful where the joint is. It, it's kind of interesting. You can't place it close to the um, arm. It's just, yeah, it's kind of weird to feel around. It, it's a weird when on there. So I don't know why the, the left arm is being so weird. But yeah, yeah, so it's okay. You know, just whatever. Um, but yeah, it does go in and out and rotate. It just, I don't know why this arm. I got to take a look at it later. Um and he does have double jointed elbows, so that works really good. His um, wrists do rotate and they go in and out. He does have an upper diaphragm joint that also rotates, so that's really good, especially with that. Oh, and I'm moving like his... Yeah, this thing like is just not fun. It's like tying a shoelace on there, so that, that's one thing. I wish the belt was a little bit better, but I understand. Unlike Shredder and the Foot Soldiers, which is sculpted on, you know, you know, they, they wanted, so if you wanted to remove and have Shredder, I mean, Splinter being a naked rad, you can do that, but yeah. Now, uh, his legs do go forward and back a little bit. Surprisingly, he can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. God, Daredevil 19 coined that phrase. I always thought the same, like, Jean-Claude Van Damme is always doing the splits, but yeah, he can do, pretty much do the splits for the most part. And then uh, he does have really nice knee joints. Um, almost, yeah, like pretty much like double jointed knees and his ankles can only rotate sadly. They, there's no ankle pivot, but they do pivot forward and back. And he has toe articulation too, which is awesome. You just have to be very careful, but yeah, you can see he has it. And then the Benny Wire tail. So yeah. All right, let's get Splinter standing as tall as he can. Um, yeah, I don't know. Why that arm is like gonna bother me, but like, I guess like, if you kind of have it like that, it doesn't look weird. But yeah, I, I'll I'll take a look at that arm later. So, Splinter, let's see. Eh, you always gotta be careful, especially with the skinnier legs. So I guess that's as. Nah, oop, sorry. He, he's definitely a little bit more challenging to stand unless you got the tail. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. He is definitely the shortest of this set. Yeah, he is uh, about six inches tall. So yeah, and now compare him with other ones in the set. Here's Shredder, which definitely the tallest of the set. 
Um, the foot soldier is pretty much the same. I mean, I could compare it, but all it's pretty much you know shorter. But uh, you can see with Raphael. So Raphael is about say about like an inch, half an inch taller. Yeah, and then compare it with a Marvel Legend, the Velocity Suit Spider Marvel Legend Spider Man. So yeah, so yeah, like besides the human characters, the turtles and Splinter can work in that scale. It's really with seven inch and six inch, you could always like decide like, oh yeah, like I I think that'll work or yeah, I I think it doesn't. You know, it's really like up to you what you decide if you like your turtles on the short side or on the tall side. For me, I think the turtles can be both. I besides those. 2014 bay turtles um i prefer my turtles rather be shorter than taller i think like most people and with splinter in the 2012 series he was way taller but i always prefer splinter to be as big if not shorter than the turtles so yeah there you go splinter you guys thanks for uh taking a look at this um i think splinter is must have yeah he's not the most articulated dynamic uh looking but I, I think I would rather, um, I love this set, but I think for people that don't care about recreating this scene, having the slice of pizza and mutagen container in the Nunchuck is a better deal. So you can pick yours up at GameStop right now. I mean, they're not open because of everything that's going on right now, but you can pick it up um, online <laughs> at GameStop.com. Otherwise, for all your quarter scale Ninja Turtle needs, go to Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link for so much more. And I want to thank my Patreon supporters for supporting me. It really helps out through these hard times. And if you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com forward slash seanxlong for donating a dollar a month uh, would really help uh, keep the channel alive. So thank you guys for watching. And um Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification key, like the video, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, or Live Long and Love I always like Kawabunga. I made the funny. Ha 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 ha.